Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back and welcome to my first video of 2023. I know that this video is a little bit farther behind than most of the other what I got for Christmas videos. I know that Christmas was a number of weeks ago, um, but I still wanted to make sure that I posted it. I had a couple of you guys asking if I was going to do it this year, kind of wondering where it was. Um, I have been posting them for the years past, but last year I ended up not posting one because we got COVID the day after Christmas and we were sick for like a solid month and so I feel like it kind of set the tone for YouTube last year for me and I really want to try to be a little bit more intentional this year and make sure that I make YouTube a priority um, and really get some filming done. I know that life is crazy and things change and I'm not gonna make any promises um, because I've been so busy lately but I still want to make it a priority and make it a goal so I decided what the heck we're gonna film it anyway. Um, so if you've been waiting for this video, here it is. I hope you're excited. I'm excited to film it. I have some fun things to share with you and um, yeah. So uh, before I get started, definitely if you haven't followed me already, you should definitely follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will have that stuff linked down for you below. Um, but I know a number of you guys like to reach out and I love communicating with you guys over there. So I'd love it if you followed me over there too. Um, and if you have any requests for things that you wanna see in 2023, please let me know. I feel like my channel has become like a, a gift guide free for all and <laughs> that's about it and i i want to bring back um some of my old stuff that i really like doing and just trying some new things and having fun with it i always have the best intentions and have like literally notes upon some notes of ideas and things i want to film and then life happens but i would really appreciate if you guys gave me some requests and some ideas and things that you guys would like to see so okay um let's just get started on what i got for christmas this past year the majority of it is makeup because that's typically what i ask most for when um christmas rolls around because it's expensive and it's my hobby my favorite thing but i don't a lot of time to invest in it very much throughout the year because I have other things and other priorities. So um, I will try to make sure I link everything that I can below if you guys want to shop any of these things. I know some of us probably still have some gift cards and some Christmas money and things like that to look for some fun things. So if you haven't already spent it, I have some ideas for you. So and some of these would be good also for Valentine's Day, um, little Valentine gifts, or just for funsies. So let just jump in um i put these on my christmas list and i shared this in my what uh like my christmas uh gift guide or what i was asking for for christmas um and i got them these are the stars above little slipper slides these are from target they came in a bunch of different colors but i just thought this really pretty like crimson red was so pretty it's perfect for the holidays but it's so pretty also for valentine's day i believe they still have these um these are so soft and squishy so so comfortable i really really like them my mom got me these and she also got me the um pajama set that i asked for but it actually ended up coming in the wrong like design it came in like the flannel and not the thermals um that i asked for from target and it just didn't i didn't like it it fit but i like a lot of stretch when i sleep because i don't like things to be constricting and it just wasn't it wasn't the one so we're still on the hunt for a new pair or i'm still on the hunt for some good pjs um but those were the pajamas that i got i just put those slippers on my feet because my feet are cold and then my husband, because I asked for a bunch, of so <laughs> a bunch of socks because my feet have been so cold. And so he bought these really nice winter socks and they came in a bunch of colors. There's still more, but they're in the wash right now. Um, but he got these on Amazon and they're just really thick, nice socks. These are really good if you have like boots that you like to wear or you just want really good, thick, warm, cozy socks. These are the ones for you. I like them a lot. They're stretchy, they're cozy, they're warm, but my feet don't get overheated, which sometimes like the fleecy ones that you can get from like Target and stuff can make my feet like overheat. These are like perfect. I love them, uh, but they come in a big pack full of a bunch of different colors and he got these on Amazon and I really, really like them. So if you're looking for something to keep you cozy for the winter, ahead these are a good sock option for you 
Um, I also got that little nightgown number um, that I had originally shown in my Christmas gift guide. I haven't worn it yet, um, but it looks like this. It is so pretty. Like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful lavender color. It is see-through, so this isn't like for, you know, everyone's viewing um necessarily but it is beautiful it looks so nice on it's really comfortable and lightweight i love like the mesh bottom because it's nice and stretchy um and it just like flows beautifully over the curves i highly recommend this there's actually also like a nice cutout in the back it is stunning so so pretty and it does come in a bunch of other colors and then it also comes with a little thong but Lord knows, I hate thongs, man. Ever since having kids, I'm like, never again. Never again. I don't want my health self through that, you know? But you guys know that these are one of my <laughs> most requested items, and I was so excited when I got these. Um, I had actually asked for these from my husband, from my brother, from my mom, because I was like, please, someone get them, and everyone was like, we're not getting you those. Um, but lo and behold, Santa had these for me. He came through on Christmas morning, and they are my Crocs. So I asked for basic black Crocs, and then I asked for a a croc chain um when i discovered that you could have charms and chains on your crocs that's what sold me i was like okay first i saw the lisa frank crocs and i was like this is a whole new world like i didn't know that there was this like this like little niche of croc like fun and then when i discovered you can get like charms and chains i was sold I love these. They are so incredibly comfortable. Um, are they ridiculous? Maybe to some, but to be totally honest with you, I think that they're really cute. They're so comfortable. I have grass in them. I apologize. They're so comfortable. I can wear them with socks. I can wear them without socks. I can wear them with like a casual outfit. I can like dress it up and zing it up. I love these things. They're so comfortable and I feel like so versatile. So I'm a part of the Croc family now. I'm so excited about it. I plan on getting more. This was just, I was like, maybe the, maybe I won't love them as much as I think that I will. And I love them way more than I thought I was going to. And the charms, the little chains, even better. I mean, come on, you can't get cuter. <laughs> on that same kind of thing, I put these with it because I thought like on my list, I was like, how cute. Like the cutest like mom outfit to me. Um, this is a belt bag. This is actually from Amazon. I linked this also in my um, Christmas wishlist video. They have this in literally every color you can possibly imagine. They have it in all different finishes. I really, really, really like this. It is so easy just to sling on and go. Um, and there's plenty of space and room. Like I thought I wasn't gonna have enough space. There is so much space. I have so much more room to add things. Um, and then there's even like a little front pocket as well. I love this thing. I want to get more colors. I don't know why it took me so long to finally get like a belt bag, but I hopefully they don't go out of style anytime soon. And if they do, I don't even really care because I think they're so comfortable. This is um, completely plus size friendly. Like the, I have a lot of extra space in this as well. Um, I really, really like this one. I think this is supposed to be like the dupe for the Lululemon one. I would highly recommend it if you want to just try out a belt bag or you want a bunch of different colors. I feel like the quality is really great for this. I love this a lot. My husband got this for me. Now I'm on the, um, the hunt for a cute little mini wallet. So if you have a good mini wallet suggestion that has quite a lot of like space and a number of card slots, but one that you really like, please let me know because I'm looking for like a, like a zip up or even like a clasp, something that can fit, a wallet that can fit in a belt bag. Please leave your suggestions below. Okay, these next two items are like health related items. This is, <laughs> this next item is one of my, was, was, I forgot to put this on my list um, when I share my video with you guys, but it was one of my most excited items that I put on my list. And it is a jumbo, like XXL heating pad. Now, heating pads are not for everyone. You know, some people don't really like them. Some people are concerned about them. I know they can be fire risks. I know they can be burn risks. You gotta be safe with your heating pads. But if you have never relaxed with a heating pad and read a good book, watched a good movie, if you are, have a lot of anxiety, if you are perpetually cold, if you are sick, if you have menstrual cramps, I am telling you, you need to get a heating pad. These are not just for aches and pains. These are not just for the aging population. My friends, these are for everyone. Um, again, I know it doesn't seem exciting, but 
I asked this for my mom. These things can get pricey. I think this was like 50 something dollars because it was like the jumbo something one. Um, but we got it off, off of Amazon. They now have weighted heating pads, which is kind of like my next avenue adventure. Um, but I wanted one that was large enough to kind of like wrap around my body, especially when I have really bad menstrual pain and cramps. Um, if I'm having leg aches, sometimes like just a little bitty pad isn't gonna do much. Um, a little a small heating pad. I like to, this covers my full back and then like butt. Like, I mean, there's a lot of space for this bad boy. Um, I love it. It has been fantastic so far. I do believe that this is washable. You just like would like um, unplug this and then you can wash this if it gets gross and yucky. And I highly recommend. Um, if you have not discovered emotional heating pads, I you are missing out, friend. They are fantastic. Emotional support heating pads, that's what it is. Okay, this is something that my mom um, surprised me with. It was something that she, um, put in my stocking and I struggle with really bad headaches, migraines. I've had them my whole life. Um, I'm incredibly sensitive to medication. I can't take any sort of migraine or headache medication besides Tylenol or Motrin. Um, there, I can't take any like narcotics, any sort of like specific medication that is intended for migraines doesn't work for me. I have allergic reactions. Um, I haven't gone the Botox route yet, but Inevitably, if they continue to increase in frequency when I get older, that's something I could do. Um, but I have headaches quite a lot, migraines quite a lot. And so um, my mom found this, and I didn't even know this existed, and this is one of the coolest things. This is like a little mask, and you put it over your head. I have makeup on, I don't want it to get all yucky, so I'm not gonna put it on my face. But you see right here is like a little notch for where your nose is so you can breathe. But you put it over your head and it's a lot of compression. So there's a lot of like extra like just like pushing down. I find that is like so relieving of my headaches is when I can feel like there's almost like pressure and like almost like the compression like squeezing my head. It makes me, it sounds crazy, but it makes me feel so much better. Um, so that was already a win. There's quite a lot of compression but it's also like gel filled. So you can put this in the fridge or you can put this in the microwave. So if you want heat therapy or cold therapy, this does both. So far I have only tried it on the cold therapy. I haven't done a heat therapy yet. And the cold therapy was incredible. Like it feels so good, especially because you can leave it this on just like the top of, of your forehead. Um, but if you pull this all the way down over your eyes so your little nose is cut out, the like relief it also gives around because I carry a lot of tension, especially when I have really bad headaches and migraines um, around my eyes because it hurts so bad I'm squinting. So it like puts compression around your eye area and the coolingness of the gel. Like it is life changing. Honestly and truly that sounds crazy, but if you struggle with really bad headaches or migraines, this is something you need. I think she just got this off of Amazon. I will try um, to ask her to send me the exact link because there's a bunch of different ones um, on Amazon, but this is incredible. I really, really, really like it. And it also comes with like a two year warranty or something. So just in case it like oozes and gets all gross or something um, by chance, I haven't seen that happen yet, but highly, highly recommend. I, I mean, life changing. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of my decor items. Um, if you can't already tell, I have new bedding. Um, this was actually a gift from my husband. So this duvet right here and then the little, um, there's like pink little ditzy uh, flower sheets back there too. Um, he both got, he got me both of those for Christmas. Um, I love this duvet. They come in a bunch of different colors. I plan on getting the other colors because I love the way it feels. It feels like a linen. It's like a faux linen. Um, it feels such good quality, which is really shocking because Amazon can be hit or miss with like bedding stuff. Um, and it's wonderful. I highly recommend this. I really, really like it. I think it is so pretty, especially for spring. I'm definitely someone who loves green and I just, it makes me happy. Um, and so he got me this. The sheets I also really like. The pink was a bit more bright than I expected it to be, um, but they're still really cute. And if you're looking for that like princessy, like pink shabby chic cottage core 
vibe those sheets are really good but i really really love this like i said they have it in other colors they have it in a really beautiful taupey brown that i want to get they have it in a blue um they have it in a green they have like larger like actual plaid checks buffalo checks and not just gingham they have it in all different ones but i just think it is so pretty and so comfortable so we have this bedding set and then I had put both of these items on my um, wish list. One of them is this really large, like, um, poof cover. <laughs> um, so I think the intention was to fill it with, um, like, uh, styrofoam peanuts or um, like bean bag filler and stuff like that which you totally can do if you want to but I'd seen a number of people use it for storage um, and they put a lot of their extra like seasonal bedding and blankets and covers and sheets and stuff like that in there or the you know old clothes that they um, are not necessarily good for donation but they don't want to end up in like a landfill or stuff like that and I actually used it for all of our seasonal bedding like I said I have a lot and it fit three comforters, uh, two different duvet covers, um, three different sheet sets, multiple like throw blankets, multiple throw pillows, the full throw pillows, multiple throw pillow covers, and there's still a ton of space. It holds so, oh, and two quilts. It holds so much stuff um, so it's perfect if you have a very small space and you need more seating and you need storage space it is such a good idea I love it it's really nice quality my girls have been really really happy with it they use it to sit on um, and I really like it I think it looks really cute it's comfortable and it is super practical so I highly recommend that if you're looking to like revamp your living space and are looking for some good storage options love it I love it the next item is so pretty. It was one of something that I like really, really wanted to receive this year. My brother actually got this for me. And it is a fairy um, little rotary candle holder sort of situation. So you put a um, candle on this like really pretty pedestal. And there's a pole that has um, these little fairies that spin around from the heat of the candle. And it's so pretty. It makes me so happy. It's so whimsical and like enchanted, which is like totally my vibe. I love it in this like cottage core little space that I have for spring. Um, it makes me so happy to look at. They, the little fairies are very delicate and they easily fall off the little rotary fan. So I would be careful. That's why I don't want to bring it down because I've like, it's fallen apart like 55 million times and it's a pain in the butt. But when it's all put together and you're not moving it, it like stays no problem. It's just when you're moving it all around because it's fragile. Um, but it's beautiful. I would highly recommend it. They have a bunch of different um, like shapes if you're not like into the fairies and stuff. But I had seen it on a TikTok video and I had to have it. When I finally uh, hunted it down, I was so excited. It's pretty inexpensive. I feel like this is like a really fun gift idea um, for those of you or people in your life who like, um, who have like bookshelves and are big readers, excuse me, or who really like candles, um, or who like the fairy cottagecore enchanted vibe. I just think it's so beautiful and whimsical. So definitely recommend, very happy with it. Um, and it turned out so pretty. Okay, I believe this is the last item before we get into the makeup. Um, this is one of the only books that I put on my list this year, um, and this is the Lore Olympus uh, Volume 1. This is actually a webtoon, and this is a um, Hades and Persephone like comic. It is one, the coloring I just think is just so, so pretty. It is absolutely beautiful. If you are one who likes graphic novels, um, who likes Hades and Persephone uh, mythology, it is so pretty. Actually, Sydney Sweeney, who plays Cassie on Euphoria, um, did like a short for this um, specific webtoon. And it's really kind of like what sparked more of an interest because I had seen it before, but then I had seen her portrayal and I was like, that's so beautiful. And so I looked more into it and I was like, this is it. I want this. Um, I just think it's so beautiful and an easy read. There's a bunch of different volumes because it is a webtoon. So I'm excited to get into it. I haven't started reading it yet. But even just like having it on hand, I just think it is just like a such a beautiful book to look at. And I feel like we'll never get old. Like I just think it's so pretty. So really excited to start reading this. Um, this was from my brother. 
Oh, this is the last official item that was not makeup. So this, <laughs> I love changing my AirPods cases. It's so much fun for me. Um, and so this is a little AirPods holder. This is a little Sour Patch Kids. I have just about, I have ones for different seasons and holidays. Um, I have all different designs. I just think they're so fun and it makes me happy and they make them really easy to find for me. And it just keeps everything a little bit safer. So I get all of them on Amazon. This was one that I put on my Christmas list from Amazon. It was just, you know, like seven or eight dollars. It wasn't super expensive, but it's just so cute and it makes me happy. So this is my little AirPods holder. Okay, we're moving on to makeup, which is the majority of the stuff that I got because that is my favorite thing to ask for for Christmas. So first things first, um, I didn't ask for a ton of eyeshadow. Normally I ask for, that's like the majority of my wish list because I love eyeshadow, but I have so much. I asked for a lot more complexion products this year, but I did ask for this palette and I was so excited because it sold out, but um, brought it out, brought it back right before Christmas. So my husband snagged it for me and that's the Michaela Glam Light palette. This is actually the second one, part two. Um, and if you haven't seen it, it is absolutely stunning. It's fun and colorful. There's purples and blues and greens and this like glitter shimmer toppers right here, Oh my gosh, I could just literally have a palette of these. So beautiful, so incredibly pigmented. I don't know what they put in this stuff, but these shimmers, like, insane. Sure, my lighting is washing the heck out of this, but so pretty. Um, you put these in palettes and I want them all. Um, I love Michaela. I was excited to hopefully get to support her. Um, and I was really happy to see that these are really nice quality too. Um, so far so good. I'm excited to, um, play with it a little bit more. And the other thing, um, by Glam Light was the highlighter palette, um, from the part two Michaela collab and it comes with three different blocked highlighters these are kind of more like fun colored highlighters um which again totally up my alley um it's spe specifically starstruck and blinden they are like a purple shift um or purple like opalescent and then like a, a greeny gold one they look like this i love highlighters like these but a lot of times they can be really really dry and like or powdery and like chalky looking and just not give you a lot of pigment. Um, I have an Anastasia palette that I got a number of years ago that I loved, um, but it just, it took forever to finally build up the shade and it was so powdery. Um, but these are some of the most intense highlighters I have ever used that are like a colored base ones. Um, they are so, gosh, these are not doing it justice on the camera. They are so intense. When you use a brush, you like barely have to dab it in because they pick up so much of that beautiful shade. Oh my gosh, they're so, so pretty. I love this so much. I mean, just like one swipe and you can get like a full, like purpley, opalescent, like in green. Oh, they're so, so pretty. I am so excited. Of both of these products, I think this is absolutely my favorite. And if you like highlighters like this, you would not be disappointed. I think this is stunning. Okay, um, I tried out some House Labs products. A lot of these items are new brands that I hadn't really got a chance to try yet, and I was really excited to. A lot of them are like the viral TikTok makeup things, um, and I was really excited to try them out. So, um, this first thing is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tint, Skin Tech Foundation. Um, this is in the shade 40 Fair Neutral. This went viral pretty close to Christmas time, I think. Um, and for good reason. This is some of the most beautiful foundation I have ever used. I've never like used a foundation even similar to this. The finish it gives to your skin, the skin-like finish, it actually looks like your skin, but there's still like incredible coverage in it. I don't know how they made this, but it is incredible and truly, truly worth the hype in my opinion. I think this is probably the best foundation I have ever used and I have tried a ton of foundations. I'm really excited to try more shades, hopefully as I get a little bit tanner as the weather heats up. Um, this is pretty pale, although it's probably my actual true shade. I just, you know, like, I'm very pale. Um, but it is pricey, I think it's like $42 or something, um, but honestly, like, I, I have never used a foundation like this. It truly is so beautiful. I thought it was going to be similar to the It Cosmetics CC 
CC cream, which is one of my all-time favorites, but to me, this blows it out of the water. I think it is phenomenal and definitely, definitely worth the hype. I know the makeup by Mario Foundation just came out too, and that I feel like is like replacing all of the foundation hype um, right now. But and I haven't tried that one, so I can't tell you if I think that's the best one ever. But this one truly is something special. I also got um, both of these ones are from my husband. This is the House Labs by Lady Gaga um, in the PhD Hybrid Lip Oil. This is in the color Primary. Um, all the lip oils, I feel like, are all the trends <laughs> this year. Um, and the Dior one especially, but that thing is stupid expensive. This one's still really expensive, but not as expensive as, as the Dior one. Um, and I think had actually better reviews. This one is nice because it does live, leave a nice tint to your lips. So if it eventually like, you know, all the actual oil and gloss goes away, that there is still like a really pretty like pinky tint. I think this is so pretty for just like absolutely no makeup, for a full face of makeup, for just a little bit of makeup. I really, really like these. It doesn't give like a super strong smell. Um, I would like to try the other colors. This is in the color primary, which is this really pretty like cherry pink color. Um, I'm excited. I'm like on this lip oil craze after this. So I'm like trying to find all these new <laughs> lip oils um, to try, but really, really pretty. And if you kind of want the like filler lip look without actually having to get filler, I feel like lip oils like these kind of look like that um, and are really pretty so far. The House Labs um, rebranding, I'm like really happy with. I think that she's doing a great job. Speaking of, these are two uh, lip glosses that were from House Labs that um, were the, I think I like the original brand that like they hadn't rebranded yet. These are actually from Amazon. House Labs used to be sold on Amazon and now um, like the newer stuff I think is exclusively sold like with Sephora and things. Um, and so it's just interesting. So I know that they didn't get like the best wrap initially when the um, line dropped and I feel like they're trying to really rebrand and I'm really happy with the products, but I thought these were so pretty. Um, and I put these on my list um, because they were actually having a big sale on them because again, I think that they're just trying to clear out inventory. Um, but these are the House Labs uh, Lay Riot Lip Gloss and this is in the color Attitude. Um, and it's just this really pretty like sparkly mauvey pink color. Um, I will say that these glosses are very sticky. That is my only downside. However, I think the colors are really pretty. I like the packaging a lot. This is in the color um, Chaser. I put this on my list because I liked how um, like, like that chocolate brown kind of coppery uh, shade and I feel like that's becoming like really trendy right now and I just thought it was really really pretty um, and I don't find like a lot of lip glosses in that um, shade so really pretty just really really sticky so they're not ones that I necessarily have been reaching for like all the time um, because of the stickiness but they are really pretty so if you like a stickier gloss um, typically they do last a little bit longer if they're stickier than these may be for you otherwise I feel like just sticking with the new branding of the House Lab stuff is probably your best bet. First time trying out Rare Beauty, which I was really excited about. Um, I put these on my list because I hadn't been able to try them yet and I wanted to see if they were worth the hype and they absolutely were. Um, pretty much, yeah, all of this makeup is from my husband. Let me just clarify. He definitely spoils me with my makeup. Um, first things first, this is one of the most viral items that I feel like um, Rare Beauty has come out with, which is the Selena Gomez makeup line. And these are the Soft Pinch Blushers. This is in the color Encourage. And it's just this really pretty mauve -y kind of pink color. You need the smallest amount for this stuff. This will last you forever. It will go bad and dry out before you can even get close to using it all, I think. Um, but what I've learned so far with testing things out is to put it on the back of your hand, not on your face, and then use a brush. This also comes from Rare Beauty. This is the Soft Pinch Brush. Um, it is a dense, like angled stippling type of brush. It's a really nice brush. And you just pick it up on your brush and then apply it to your cheeks and it just really diffuses it out and just blends it out really beautifully. So if you're having a hard time um, with these blushes or just liquid products in general, this brush is fantastic, but um, this definitely helps. It really just diffuses the product and you really can get it where you would like it. Oh, it is so, so pretty though. These blushes are really, really beautiful. And I feel like when you're able to kind of figure out how to apply them, they become really user-friendly. 
Um, I'm really excited. My husband also got me a different shade um, called Joy, but it was a little bit too peachy pink for me, so I actually returned it. Um, and But I did keep with this color because I think it's so pretty. Uh, and lastly, the other Rare Beauty product that I have is this really pretty one um, that is the Positive Light liquid luminizer in the color mesmerize i think this is supposed to be like selena's go-to shade it's this really pretty pinky champagne color um i will say that i don't feel like these products are necessarily or this particular thing is like the most crazy blinding highlight on the planet but it is so pretty and if you want just like a really pretty like glow within look this is the product for you um i think she just came out with some powder highlights that are supposed to be really intense and like stroby um but if you want like a subtle glow this is it like i think it's so pretty and it just kind of blends into my skin but when the light hits it it just glows oh like the dewiness so so pretty I'm interested to see if I got the lightest shade, if it would show up a little bit more on my skin tone, but just stunning. Um, I'm very excited to try out more of her products. I'm These were all big hits for me, so lived up to the hype in my opinion. The other items that I put on my Christmas wish list were some Fenty items. Um, I have tried a couple of the Fenty glosses before, but that's about it. And so I was really excited to get these. This is the Fenty Beauty um, Diamond Balm. This is an all over diamond veil in how many carats, that's the shade. Um, I feel like this went viral when it first came out, but since then I haven't seen much about it. But I think it is, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. You put like a glitter veil of some sort, I want it. I just, it's so soft and silky. You can apply this anywhere, your lids, your cheeks, your lips, your nose, I mean anywhere. It's just, it's not like this crazy intense like opaque highlight, it's just like a glitter veil that when it catches the light, it's just like bam. It's so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, really, really like it. I do believe that there's one other shade, but I think that'll be too dark for my skin tone, so, but ugh. This one's a pretty one, man. It's a pretty one. Um, so if you want to have like a shadow that's a little bit shimmery on top or this gives like that really pretty wet look um, without having to use like a gloss or anything to make your eyes sticky. But if you want like that wet eyeshadow look or cheek look, that's the product for you. Um, and then the other thing that I got was this uh, Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stain. This is in the color Berry Banger and it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Um, and it is a lip stain that is glossy and once it dries down or you can wipe off the gloss if you want, you'll have like a really nice stain left over. It comes in a couple other colors. I would like to get some more colors because I really, really like this. Um, and it's very comfortable. That's my main thing I really like about it because uh, stains can be really, really drying. This isn't drying at all. It feels like a nice balm. It's not even sticky like a gloss. It is so pretty. Um, and once it all fades down and it looks like kind of just like you just ate a bunch of popsicles, I, I love it. I love it. I think this is such a cool product um, and I'm excited to try some more of them. So another win, like Fenty House Labs and Rare Beauty. I mean, they were all like really, really good options this year. See, this is the stain so and it stains pretty quickly and pretty intensely all right this next item is um, from urban decay it is their moon dusts um, eyeshadows and this is in the color solstice these uh, moon dusts kind of blew up on TikTok, specifically the color space cowboy but i think this one is so much prettier um and it is like this duochrome like brownie purpley i can't even describe the color it is so pretty there's red and green glitter reflex in it um it, it truly I, that's what i'm wearing on my eyes i think this is just like one of the most stunning colors i love this shade it is just so pretty oh my gosh to me this is so much better than the space cowboy hype um and but these moon dust are 
so nice there's no fallout so you don't have all the glitter fallout they last forever they're really really easy to apply you don't have to have like a glitter glue um, or like a tacky base you can apply with your finger and what you see in the pan is what you get when you swatch so pretty they have a bunch of different colors um, so far again I think solstice takes the cake for me I think it's so pretty Something that was kind of a letdown, but something that I've been dying to try for a long time, is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, I asked for it in the mini version because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I didn't want to waste any money. Um, this is in the color Fair. I just... I don't necessarily get all the hype for this product. It's pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty. Um, and I can see why people like it, but I feel like this thing is always sold out and it just doesn't do anything that incredible. Um, I will definitely use it until it's all gone, but I don't think I'll repurchase this or the full size. I don't think that it's worth all the hype that it gets. I really don't understand all the hype it gets, to be totally honest with you. I think, honestly, it is just as good as this. Um, and this is so much cheaper and this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. This is in the color Light Glow. They also have the e.l.f. Um, like glowy thing that's supposed to be just the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, but that apparently oxidizes really bad and there's just not a good shade range. Um, but I think that this product is a good equivalent if you're really looking for an equivalent without spending the money. It still gives you that glow that you want. Maybe like no coverage, but I think more glow in my opinion. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I didn't think that it was that spectacular that I feel like everyone tries to make it be. However, the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, I haven't tried the milk one, but if it is any as good as this one, if, if not better, this stuff is incredible. I put it on my list as a stocking stuffer and I am so blown away by this. It is one of the most unique primers I've ever used and truly so incredibly good. If you haven't tried this out yet, highly, highly recommend. Really, really good. Um, and then this was something I put on my list um, and another reason why I put, took back that Rare Beauty Joy shade because this is pretty much its dupe. This is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm color drops for cheeks. This is in the color Spiced. It's this really pretty peachy um, shade and these work really really well too. Um, pretty equivalent to the Rare Beauty one so if you want to try cream, cream, brush, cream blushes but don't want to spend the money these are a good option. I think they're about half the price um, and you can get them at Ulta um, but still think that I like the Rare Beauty ones better but this is pretty. Um, I asked for the Milani Liquid Contour. This is in the color Honey. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Contour one. Contour one. Um, really like this. Really easy to use. Looks really pretty. Blends out really, really easily. I will say though that I feel like I'm going to use this up really quickly. There's not a ton of product in here, um, but I do really like it and it blends out really easily. But I may just go back to like my stick contours afterwards because I feel like they blend out just as much and I feel like they last a little bit longer. But still like it. Still really good. Um, this is an oldie but a goodie, another stocking stuffer idea. This is the Maybelline Insert uh, Age Rewind Eraser. This is in the color 100. Um, I used to use this all the time in college and I loved it. And recently I feel like it's been making its comeback, especially with the type of applicator that it is because I think it looks like the Charlotte Tilbury stuff. Um, and I wanted some new concealer, put this on my list. I forgot how good this stuff is. I've been using the same concealer for years now and so trying something new has just like changed the game for me um, or revisiting oldies and so I really, really like this concealer. So pretty, you can get it in so many different shades. Um, this is the, I wanna try a lot of dupes <laughs> with stuff that I was asking for to see how they compare. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo and this is in the color halo goodbye um i wondered if this was a dupe for the charlotte tilbury uh, illuminizers or for the rare beauty ones 
um, and this is also really really pretty I will say that I feel like it's a bit more stroby than the rare beauty one was is but it definitely dries a lot quicker and doesn't blend as easily into the skin as a rare beauty one but still really really pretty and you can totally get it to blend it's just not as seamless as the other one um, but definitely a bit more va va voom inexpensive it's a glass bottle really pretty if you want a good dupe um, I like it I like it. Still like the Red Beauty one more, I think, but I do like this one a lot. Um, a brush that I've been using to blend in a lot of like the skincare, like the Flawless Filter or the Lumi Lotion, is this one from e.l.f. Um, this is the Wonder Cover Complexion. I had seen um, some like people talking about this, and this is so good. Um, if you like a lot of cream products, I feel like this blends things out so well. I am normally not a fan of brushes for cream things and liquid products. Oh my gosh, this was so nice. Um, and I linked this from Amazon. I think that's where my husband got it. Um, but it's this really, really nice, dense brush. It blends so easily. It's really, really soft. I really like this. I feel like this would be really good for contour products as well, like liquid contour, um, even some blushes. Oh, I like it a lot. Okay. And last but not least, at least for lip products, I have this... Um, e.l.f. Cookies and Cream Lip Gloss. This is in the color Cookies, Cookie Dreams Cookie, and it's a black lip gloss. That's the reason that I asked for it, <laughs> because I've been seeing black lip glosses and think they're so cool, and I wanted to try it out. Um, this was another stocking stuffer. It smells incredible. It looks so pretty. It's black without being, like, obvious, but there's, like, this, like, darkness to your lip color like smokiness almost. I really, really like it. The only thing I don't love is that the paddle is really hard to use. Like there's not a lot of product that it picks up. I don't know if that's intentional because they don't want you to just like put too much black on um, the lips, but it's not easy necessarily to spread on and use. Um, but it's really pretty and it, this was, I think, pretty inexpensive. Um, and so if you want to try out like a black lip gloss, this has like some glitter reflex in it. It's pretty, it's fun. I really like it. I want to try more black lip glosses now. I believe this is the last makeup product. This is the Laddie Bell Glitter Spray. I saw this on TikTok. And I just thought it was so cool. And it's basically this little, it looks like a little perfume spray, sprayer. And it is a glitter spray. So you spray it and just like little flecks of glitter pop out and it like illuminate. Um, you can't see a whole lot unless you're like in, you know, like specific lighting. Like right now it's way too bright, but I think it's so pretty and fun. And if you're going out some places and like, or you're about to get married or going to like a big party or stuff, like I think this is so fun. Again, you put glitter in something, I'm gonna want it. It comes with a little extra like backup refiller. Um, and yeah, I mean, I saw it on TikTok. I put it on my list um, and it's fun. I like it a lot. I think it's really, really pretty. And if you like glitter and you want it all over, this is a good option. Okay, lastly is this Current Body um, LED Light Therapy Mask. This was actually something that was sent to me. They reached out to see if I wanted to give it a try. These things are so incredibly pricey, but I have seen crazy results on like TikTok and um, through their actual like website and stuff and just like researching and looking for different skincare stuff. I've been in like this weird skincare obsession lately and rut of trying to like revitalize my skin in some form or fashion. Um, but these LED light masks, I've seen a lot in like people getting facials and stuff um, and then started researching on my own. Um, so when they reached out, I was literally so excited about this because like I said, these these are pretty pricey, but I mean, they're better than like going to get, I guess, like a bunch of different facials um, or like a bunch of fillers and stuff. These like crazy dramatize to me, change your skin. Um, I'm opening it with you on camera. I haven't opened it up yet. I've been so excited to try it, but we've been dealing with stomach bugs and all sorts of ickiness. And so I haven't had the chance to use it yet, but you use it for 10 minutes a day and you start seeing results, I think in two weeks, but it, <laughs> It looks like this. Um, it's like a silicone like outer coat. And then here are all the lights inside of it. And you just wrap this around your ears and you go to town. So um, it has like 
full instructions, charger, a um, nice bag to keep it nice and safe in. Um, oh, they even give you little glasses so you don't hurt your eyes. A little, little, uh, little, you know what I'm saying, little. What are these called? The little things you get when you would go sun tanning? These are LED lights, so they're not like UV lights or anything like that. So the light from this device penetrates deep within the layers of your skin to stimulate collagen production. Um, it automatically switches off after 10 minutes. So you just pop it on and if you're like relaxing and fall asleep, it's gonna pop off by itself. But I have seen so much difference in like fine lines, people using it who have like fine lines and it helps improve them, redness, plumping, dark spots. Like I'm so excited to use this on myself. I'm gonna use this for like, I want my mom to give it a try and put it on my husband. Like I am so pumped to use this thing. This has crazy good reviews um, and I'm telling ya, this is the year of skincare for me. Like I, now that I'm getting older, I'm about to be 32 this year. Like I want to try all the skincare things and really come up with the best um, routine that I can to really like preserve my skin and keep it healthy. Um, I'm so excited to use this. So this isn't sponsored or anything. They're not paying me to see or talk about this. Um, they just sent this to me to try out. So. I wanted to share it with you guys because I will probably later, um, you know, do a video or talk about it and stuff about hopefully any changes and improvement I see. So, okay, that is officially it. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like this video was just long and droning on, but I have to get back in the swing of things of filming. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. What did you guys get for Christmas? What was your favorite gift that you got or favorite thing that you did? Um, it was a pretty good Christmas this year. It went by really fast and honestly, it felt a little weird. Things were just kind of off because there was so much going on here for us but it was a good one. Um, we had a lot of fun together and enjoyed each other's company. And I, but to be honest, I was kind of ready. I was ready to move on, which is very much not like me. I normally saw when Christmas is over, but this year I was ready for a new year and for a fresh start. And I'm looking forward to a lot of really big things that are happening that are coming up that I can't wait to share with you really exciting things. And so, um, I was just ready for the new year. So I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas if you celebrated, um, and just a great, wonderful holiday season and a happy start to your new year. I hope 2023 is as magical and amazing as we hope and pray that it is. I feel like we just need a really good, just low anxiety, relaxing year, to be honest. I feel like so many of us are just, we're looking for easy and that's what I want to. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.